thanks. So, what's next? We're outmatched, we're alone, and... And... what is that noise? It's coming from over there. Uh, you gotta get better boots, Crow. I could hear you coming a mile away. Now Aldrin, <laughs> he could sneak up on a fella. You're not Crow. Well, I'll be damned. Cade? How long has it been? A lifetime. The kid told me a few guns were on their way. Said the Vanguard would send their best. It's real good to see you two. I finally have someone to talk to about Crow's stupid haircut. Come on, I'm guessing you have questions. And I won't say I have answers, but let's talk. I like Crow's haircut. start I died you probably remember that not great partly my fault lesson learned let's not dwell and after that nothing but not a bad nothing a peaceful nothing I think I felt her there too my ghost Sundance she was part of me or I was part of her like we were two cards shuffled back into our deck, whole again. And then there was, well, there was pain. Separation, something pulling me out. I woke up here in this body alone. No ghost, no way to use the light. And what could make this traumatic experience better than finding my killer waiting for me? But we talked it out because we're adults. He seems nicer these days. Yeah, pretty low bar, I'll admit. Because we got bigger problems, bigger, weirder problems. Crow said this was all inside the Traveler, but I already knew. It's in pain. Pain I can feel. Somebody's up in that monolith with their hand on a knife. Crow calls it the witness. And what it's doing out here has a name too. The final shape. It's the end of everything. So I figure, might as well try to stop it.
So, is there anyone else with you? Not Commander Zavala, I assume. This isn't quite up to his standards. Hey. I did my best, all right? Given the circumstances, I think Big Blue will forgive me. Will you? No. It's too much. It's just too much. It's one thing for the witness to look in our hearts and minds, to conjure up our memories, but this... Hey, Cora, come on, look at me. I see you. I know this is hard. It's tough for me, too. Tough? What do you know about tough? You are always running off to play renegade, leaving me and Zavala to shoulder all the responsibility when... when we were supposed to be a team. I know. I'm gonna make it up to you. All right. I know you like me. Don't get ahead of yourself. You still have a lot to make up. Well then. We better get started. I don't know how you're here. But... Uh, yeah, me too, big guy. <sighs> me too. And I thought we lost her when her ship went down. But she's tougher than that. She soldiered on. She... She... Losing Amanda was like losing you all over again. I'm done burying my friends. Life isn't about holding on forever. I mean, I was gone, mourned at peace, and now I'm here, opening old wounds, filling them with salt. And eventually, you have to let go.
One ghost. He sure shine bright back there, huh? Cade. What comes from the light returns to the light. My guy Sundance told me that. She also said we're all connected. Guardians, ghosts, the Traveler. Now you tell the others this was my choice. My light. Nobody makes my fate but me. You're my favorite. Don't ever forget that.
It's definitely healing, but we've still got a lot of work to do. Surviving witness forces, clashes with the Lucent Brood. So much change. We've been fighting for so long. And now, we've won. I thought it would feel... different. Well... Maybe because we haven't celebrated it yet. Guardian. Ghost. You're just in time. Tell them... Cade wouldn't let a little work get in the way of having a good time. <laughs> You're right. For now, our task is appreciating this moment. And after that? We'll face the future when it comes. We're all connected. Your light, mine, Cade's. He sacrificed his light so mine could shine again. I can feel him still. Sundance, too, I think. Tarj, all the ghosts and guardians who are a part of the Traveler. The Witness wanted to provide purpose to the universe. But purpose is ours to choose. Our fates are ours to make. Kate decided his was to reunite us. Now we get to ask the question the witness wouldn't allow anyone to. What do you want our future to be?
Venus's death spread like a shockwave through its troops. The instant it was destroyed, things shifted. Most of the witnesses' followers fled when it fell, but its most zealous believers are still carrying out its last orders. Zivu Arath is still out there, mortal, moving in the shadows. How salvation is turned on itself, with Aramis nowhere to be seen. Savathun and the Lucent Brood are trying to claim control of the Pale Heart. With the witness dead, both Scorn and Taken are directionless. To put it simply, in the wake of the witness, a power vacuum has been created in the universe. Who knows what will try to fill it. But out of all of this, the most worrying thing is an aurora. It's bleeding out of the Traveler. Light and darkness venting into open space over Earth. We designated a no-fly zone within 100 kilometers of the Aurora, enforced by Alliance cruisers. So far, no one has tested it. During the initial formation of the Aurora, a piece of anomalous matter erupted from the Traveler, moving away at relativistic speeds. We tracked one out to a distance between Neptune and Jupiter, in the orbital path of Nessus. Then we lost track of it. I've got hunters in the field investigating. Thank you, Crow. I'll leave it to you. Copy that. I'm headed back out to the field myself. I... need to see if I can pick up Fickrell's trail. Find out what's going on with the Scorn. Keep me updated. And... good work. <laughs> <laughs>